Hi guys, it's Shelby from Made With Love, and today I have a charm update number two. So I have two styles of my videos. I have it where I'm silent and I play music, or I have it when I talk and I'm crazy, and it's really fun. So I thought that today we'll do a talking one, and hopefully I don't talk too fast, but let's get into the video. Alright, so to start off, we will start off with probably the oldest things to the newest things. So you may have saw this in my last charm update, but I thought I would bring it back. It is the southern dish with fried chicken. Yeah, that was a fail. Fried chicken, a biscuit, and a bean casserole. This is what it looks like. I actually made my own breading for the chicken. And then the biscuit is textured, and the green bean casserole has different things in it, and I think it looks great. Okay, so then the next thing we'll do is this one, and it's adorable. It's a little bookworm, and it has an apple, and it's on a pile of books. And I still have to put some titles on the back. If you guys have any ideas, please leave a comment down below. And like this video if you want to have a title, because I will take up your ideas and probably put them on here. And if I do, I will probably show them in a video. So let me know what title should go on these books. Anyway, it's got little glasses and a little apple, and I think it is adorable. So then the next thing I have is a lizard. It's brought by Emma C. Boutique, and it's so small and so tiny, and I love it so much, and it's so cute. And I even added this little, whoa, again, a fell. Ugh. I even added this tiny little flower, and it's so blurry right now. Oh, my gosh. Why won't it focus? Focus, focus, focus. Okay, there. No. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I added this tiny flower, and it's got the legs, and it's got the little eyeballs, and it's so cute. I love this charm. Okay, so now I bet we could go on to realistic foods. So the first one I have is this apple pie, and I am in love with this baby. Um, I just do. I don't know why. It's just so perfect to me. And I just love it. It's just, ah, I don't know what to say about it. I've never made a pie before, but for this to be my first pie, I'm happy with it. So I will make many more in the future and maybe even do a tutorial. I'm not sure. Okay, so done with that. I love that pie. All right. <laughs> the next thing I have is this bunk cake, and it has this glaze on top, and it's so shiny. It is beautiful. And it's, um, you know what? Before I continue with that, I should probably show you this. I made this jello, and it's pink. And I actually, instead of using a mold, I actually handed this and molded it myself, handed it. And it's so beautiful. And the reason I did it pink is because my sister, her favorite color is pink. And she just, I, I don't know, I just love this thing. It's so great. If I ever get Amazing Little Putty, which I will someday, I will make a mold of this. And it is so pretty. It's just a little, yeah. Um, and using this technique that I did, I made a bunk cake, like I showed you, with glaze, and it's plentiful with glaze, because what happened was, I had put in, um, translucent liquid scorpion, and I baked it, and I didn't think it was that, like, mm, glaze power, so then I put, like, a thick coat of Elmer's glue, just normal Elmer's glue, and it dried, and it was beautiful, look at this, I wonder if you could just do this for normal charms and glaze it like this, because look at that shine, but this is what it looks like. So beautiful, and look, on here you can kind of see where I did the, like, side technique, and it's actually this big form, but the glaze kind of drowned out the detail up there, but still looks great. Okay, so now we're moving on to kawaii, and I firstly have licorice sticks. I have this one, and this one's glazed. I haven't done the other one. I still have to do that, but as you can see, they actually do have blush. Even on the red, I still added blush, and they're really cute. Love them very much. And then I have this shell charm, because um, Creator Sculpey had a recent, uh, whoa, a recent shop update, and she had a beautiful little shell. So I tried to mimic that, and I think I did a pretty good job, and I think it's adorable. I used blue eyes quartz, and it's, like, all pretty. And then the last charms I have are... Three peas in a pod, and I made this one first, and I actually have a tutorial on these little guys, and this was the one I made in the tutorial. I haven't glazed them yet, but they're so cute. So this is the one I made in the tutorial. Go check out that video. Just check out my channel by clicking the koala bear picture or my channel on this video. Link below, 
and then that will take you to my channel and you can find this and a lot of cool other videos because it's awesome so give a thumbs up if you liked these little cute guys yeah give some love give some love and if you liked all the other charms and if you want to see more videos like these and please tell me if you like it when I talk or when it's silent because I have fun when I talk because I talk a lot but I still have fun with it and I hope you guys like it so give a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe comment and all that jazz all right so i'll see you later guys keep on crafting